Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Rip here. Welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic video. It's been a long, long time since I last did a, la a, last did a Scrap Mechanic video. And I'm sorry about that. But now, as I'm on half term, I will backlog loads of Scrap Mechanic videos just for you guys. And first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys something amazing. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have been seen... But, I have been building something. Ta-da! And, ta-da! We have built ourselves. We've gone into a new world. And we have built ourselves a new world, obviously. We've got a new, ourselves a new world. And we have built... Sorry if you can hear all that burping. I've just added tango, but I'll probably cut it out. And, yeah. This is going to be our workshop, so where we're going to build our cars. We're going to build it on this lift, so we can put it up and down. And then eventually, when we race our cars, if we have a small, thin car, we'll use this track. But if we have quite a fat car, that... Um, a quite a fat car that is just doing it, we just have a speed test run down here. Now, this was a car, until I sort of broke, it sort of broke. But first of all, I have a garage here. I'm just going to walk you through it. So I've got two garages that open and shut using bearings and controllers. And then this is the monster. If we zoom out a bit, so hopefully we can get up here. <sighs> Turn, turn. So basically this is a monster we built because there's a new recent tool that came out. If you have scrap mechanic you probably know it. But it is the paint tool. Right here, the cut, the paint tool. Paint any block or whatever. Oh well. <laughs> paint any block basically a certain colour. So that's what I've done with these things. They're not actually a block in the game. But let's get started on an actual build. So let's get rid of some stuff we won't need for the moment. Um, today we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna build, we're gonna build some sort of, some sort of like, long rockets type car, that's like a, what's the word for it, I don't know how to explain it, it's gonna be just like a long car, so if we lift this up, I'm gonna go like this, like this, and like this, so that's four, and then we'll go two, this can be our car so then let's grab ourselves a curved a duct corner and then we can seal this up along here and we're going to build some sort of drag racer type car and hopefully this probably won't work on the track that we have but it will work on the long thin track which is very very cool Put hit like and subscribe if this is the first video you've watched was by me and if and like if you want um, any more scrap mechanic videos because I really like playing the game but I always forget to record it so in every video you see by me no matter what the style it is remind me just put JV record scrap mechanic or something like that so if we grab ourself a driver's seat spin this around by pressing Q. So there we go, we have some sort of car. So I don't know how we're going to build this though. So let's grab some more duct corners I think. And go like this. We should have some pointy, a pointy edge. Which looks very, very, very cool if I do so so myself. So first of all what we're going to do is let's lift up the lift, break it, place it over here a second break it again let's put it into the center block there we go that's all in center block so now let's add some more of nope we don't let's rotate them oh, there we go and let's do this so yeah every time we record a scrap mechanic this is going to be the world we use and this is where we are going to build our amazing fabulous builds and I've made it too thin so if we break 
these back ones. Let me just check. Aha! There we go. So I didn't need to break them ones. So let's put them back on. Now we have just messed it up. There we go. Let's place all of this like that. There we go. Place this here. Boom, boom. So now we have a driver's seat, but we're going to have to centerize it a bit more. Why can I not place this now? Place, place. No, I don't want it placed there. I want it placed centered. If we just break a couple of blocks here, and then place like this. There we go. That's where the driver's seat can go. Now, if we add some more of this, this is totally not messing up. <laughs> it's like we haven't even built the wheels yet. Right, there we go. So let's go like that. And now let's grab out ourselves an engine. We're going to use a gas engine. So we're going to use two of them. I'm going to place one each side. Now I'm going to show out the paint tool. So what colour do we want these engines? Let's have a purple car. No. Let's not have a purple car. Let's have a light baby blue car. There we go. Look at this. Oh no, we don't want that. Let's just have it like this. So now if we grab ourselves some, let's mind out the way here, grab ourselves some blocks and then place, no, I messed it up, I fluffed it, fluffed it up, and there we go, now let's go break this block here here and this is where the wheels can go so I think we can have so let's grab out this and one of these so let's go should we have this vehicle turning I think we need to be so let's grab out some bearings to replace the hammer in that slot there so place this here place one of these here lower the lift down even more go like this and then wheels no um and then let's grab ourselves a another one of these lift that up then we're gonna grab some suspension i think we're gonna get some off-road a some sport suspension i mean because this is quite a sporty car it's now let's try and build the exact same thing this side now let's grab out re-grab out my duct corner and this is going to be quite a long episode, we're 8 minutes in already. Um, so let's place this here, place this here. Boom, and then boom. And grab out some more suspension. And then let's grab like this, I think. And then the wheels can go on here. Yes! This is going to be a beast. So first of all now let's re-grab out the connection tool and place the duct corner there. So now what we need to do is we need to add this and turn it and then grab that one there and turn it and then grab this one to here and make it the right way, good. And this engine to this wheel, make it the right way. And now I need to add the back wheel. So I want to do the same sort of thing but we don't need the turning on it. And there we go. So there we go. I think I've got it in the right place, have I? Yes, I do. Now we're going to really have to grab out some more duct corners. Right, let's get rid of the paint tool in our... Right, there we go. That's better. Now we need to add... Right, so I went like this. Then I went... Lower it down a bit more. I just headbutted my mic. Don't want to do that. Sorry if that shows up loud. I do that a lot, I do that a lot. So, sorry if you can hear that clearly. I try and cut it out, but sometimes I miss things. Uh, I miss parts where I should have cut it out, but I didn't. So, let's grab one of these. And then, nope, that's the wrong way. So, Q. 
cute. And then let's grab out some more suspension. Lift it up. Put that there. Put a bearing on and a wheel. And then lower the lift down. Grab out the connection tool. Link this wheel to this engine. Make it go the right way. Awesome. This wheel to this engine. Make it go the right way. Now hopefully everything is linked. We've just got to link the engines to this. Crank the power up to about four. Four should be enough. And then, nope, nope. So one, two, three, four. E one, two, three, four. Now hopefully, if we've done this right, we can break all the lift. Nope. <laughs> Let's grab this, move it back over here. Oh, the wheels go the wrong way. The turning, so. I want to turn this way, I want. Like that, is it then left? No. Left, right, sort of bounces me up and down a bit, but. So now we've done that, let's try and pimp it up a bit more and see what other things we can add to this. So let's go right up to close to this, place that here, lower down the lift, let's grab out our painting tool and then let's click Q to open up the menu, change different, different shade of blue, change the colours of each thing so we can make it a bluish car, that's going to look awesome. Can't change the suspension, but we can change the wheels. Let's change this, change this. Yeah, we have got some sort of blue car. Just gonna quickly just spam around. Actually, no, I don't want to get the floor. Because that would be annoying. I suppose it is easy to change back, but... I just can't be bothered. Change this, this, and and let's go like this, filling in all of these gaps where it's white, and now we have a blue drag racer. And somehow we need to colour in this last one. Now to check, now I need to change this, this, and this. And then this, this, and this. And this, this, this. Should be everything changed. Now let's click Q, grab out a red. Red, red. We can have a stripe between it. Lift this up again. Colour in the gaps where it should be red. There we go, this is looking awesome. Now I'm going to grab some more duct corners, get, replace our bearings, and now I'm going to add some sort of afterwards, right, like this, and no, I just missed it. If we go Shift Q, it would turned it back to the previous rotation. Don't know what I'm doing here, but it's looking quite cool. Now let's click Q again, change it to this colour. No, that looks bad. Do not want this. Do not like this. Bang. Delete. Delete. Let's add some sort of spoiler. So if we grab out one of these, a pole, and one of these, we can make some sort of spoiler coming out of the back. Right, normally it'll go up. So if we grab out one of these and replace it with that, if we go like this, like this, and like this, 
Grab this and this. And then up, maybe. I think what I might add, I might add some thrusters to it. But I don't know how good that will look. Depending on where I can put them. Aha! Uh -huh. What a cool idea. If we can put a thruster. Maybe there? I don't even know what that does, it just like switches it somehow. And then, aha, this is what we need to do. And then we need to go like this and like this. And then hopefully if we put the thruster on there and there. Or central if we can. And then link it up to a switch if we lift up the car. Grab ourselves out a switch. Put the switch on the bottom of the car. Grab out our connection tool, boost the thruster right to the top, switch to the driver's seat, one, so that works at least, now we just need to test how fast it goes, oh god, <laughs> um, right, so this is all enclosed in, I think what I might do is, let's, <laughs> let's drag it back over to here, we're nearly, this new episode's been going on for like 20 minutes nearly, I just want to add in some duct corners because they've got quite a good idea. It'd be cool if we can add some sort of windscreen. Oh, can we add maybe like this? And grab out a normal block if we can. A metal support. What do these look like and how big are these? Um, oh, they're relatively big. Let's get rid of these and move them one closer in. Colour them, so let's click Q blue, it's on the right blue. Then we click Q, change it to red. And hopefully, this should be almost complete. Please tell me we've built it the right way. No, we always do that, we always build it the wrong way. If we place it here, let's get to the start of the track, reverse backwards, turn, drift round, sort of, <laughs> sort of drifted before, um, I've never seen these before in Scrap Mechanic, look, let's just quickly show you these, look, it looks very, very cool, let's click this, it's good, there we go. Right, so there we go. We're in the right place. See how fast this goes. One. Whoa. It doesn't tip very easily. So that's. Whoa, 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 whoa. I really like this car. This, I rate this car five stars. No, I rate this car 10 out of 10, 10 stars. So let's see if we can drive it into our garage without mucking up. So we're gonna drive it into the garage like this. So let's grab this, reverse. Right, no, that didn't work. Let's grab it like this, delete the lift. This is a very cool car and it drives very, very well. Come on, we can get this. We can get up, get up. Right. Might need to grab some sort of ramp. Let's grab this. We will do this, we will drive it in. Oh. Let's forget that. Let's grab out an actual ramp if we can find them. And then I wanna show you something that I built, right. Let's just leave this for now. Let's just leave this mighty car. We need to name this thing. So in the comments, name this awesome car. Name this car. So I'll put, this will be the screenshot for the video. There we go, we've got our screenshot for the video. 
splash screenshot didn't even take it oh well right so now i will sh let's shut up the garages shut up the garages there we go now i'll show you one small little aspect that i did not show you before so you saw this but you might be wondering oh jamie what was this well this is the bathroom this is the customer bathroom for the adults so yeah so i would like to say thank you very very much for watching this video and comment subscribe and scratch that like buttons and if you watch right to the end of this video put in the comments put in the comments bathroom put in the comments if you watch to the end of this video write in the comments bathroom so I would like to say thank you very, very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and scratch that like button. Goodbye!